In this lesson, we're going to cover the hem tool. A hem usually is placed on a sheet metal part to add strength or rigidity. The file that we're going to use for this exercise is called smstyles.ipt and it can be found in your chapter 10 exercise folder. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the hem tool from the sheet metal features panel. And then in the hem dialog box, first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to select an edge to place the hem on. And let's zoom up a little bit closer so we can see it. From the type list, we have a single, which is the default. I can place in a teardrop, or we can place in a rolled. And for all of these, you can go back and you can designate the angle. So if I typed in 270, you can see that I'm now at 270 degrees. And finally, we have a double. Let me spin the screen around a little bit so we can see it at a little different angle here. So for each one of these, you can go back and designate the size and the length of each one of those. So for starters, I'm going to go back and change this back to a single. And let's change the length to 10 millimeters. So let's go ahead and click on OK. And we just created our hem. Spinning that back on around, you can see that it goes the entire length of the part. So you'll notice in the browser, the hem feature appears. To go back and make some modifications, I'm just going to double click on it. And the hem dialog box will reappear. If I change my mind and I no longer want that hem to go the entire length of that edge, I can expand the dialog box. And under the width extents option, these are the same options that we had when placing in a flange. So in this case, the edge, meaning that it's going to go the entire length of the edge. We can determine a width, or we can do an offset. In this case, let's go ahead and do that. So I can go back and select two points. And then I can go back and determine the length off of each edge. So in this case, we have 50 millimeters off the front edge and the second edge. Let's go back and change that to 25. And now these points that I selected, they are parametrically linked to the part. So if this feature does change, I'll always be maintaining that 15 and 25. The last one that we have is the from to option. For the From To option, you can select vertices, work points, work planes, or planar faces to determine the length of the hem.